Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm just going to do a simple, a simple little watercolour. Hope you like this. It's just a small, small watercolour. And if you do like it, give us a thumbs up, give us a like. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, then please subscribe. Okay, um, I just wanted to show you, this is slightly different. I wanted to show you the setup what I'm using. Um, you can see my palette on the left hand side and I'm also using the Strathmore mixed media. Quite a small small sketchbook. So it's quite it's quite nice to use. This is actually a mixed media. I've got two the 90 pound watercolour sketchbook and the mixed media. They're both visual journal um, sketchbooks which are quite nice you can see they're ring bound they're not really the size that I wanted but that's all they had available online when I ordered so I just went ahead and got these smaller size but I think the the advantage of using a smaller sketchbook is you you saw you don't get tied up in detail it's quite nice and especially if you're a beginner to watercolor it's quite a nice size to use um, they're actually, let me see, they're actually size, well, they're 5.5 inches by 8 inches. So that's about 14 by 20 centimetres in size. And it's quite a nice paper to use. They're uh, nice for outdoor sketching. They're quite handy. Pop in your sort of bag or whatever to be more portable. And you can see I'm using um, an ink pen. This is a, one of my drawing pens, so it's waterproof as well. So I'm not going to have any issues when I cover <clears throat> when I cover the paper in um, in watercolor. So you can see I've done um, another sketch on the. This is actually I've set up this camera, and for some reason it's. It filmed it sort of sideways, so I've rotated it on my editing app, and it looks like I'm actually painting with my left hand, which I'm not. Uh, I'm actually right-handed, so I don't know what's happened there. Just editing the video, I've I've rotated it, and it's sort of gone to this format. So I'm, I'm painting my right hand. This is all um, right-handed work, so... I'm just going in, you can see the colours I'm using. These are my Jackson watercolour paints. Um, so I'm, I'm just using what's what's on my palette as well from previous paintings. So there's a little bit of colour on there. But I'm using my um, yellow ochre, sap green, you can see I'm touching into that. And a bit of um, lemon yellow, that's for the trees. I'll just use the simple wash of raw sienna and yellow ochre for the building itself. So it's quite quite a nice little scene. It's not so the, the one on the on the right. Well, it's on the left side of my um, my uh, sketchbook. It's actually a, a scene that I took a photo of, and it's actually a little bit of a museum type place down in Dorset. And I just wanted to do this painting to almost complement that. So I've done something similar. And if you're not used to painting or if you're not really good at painting buildings or anything like that, you can just cover most of the scene with trees or you know shrubbery and just have a little bit of the building popping through. I think that's quite a nice little sort of scene to do. So it's straightforward if you're if you're new to watercolour, then you can probably have a go at this. It's really straightforward, really easy to do. So I just used my pencil just to get the build in and then went over with pen and then just do a slight wash over the top with your uh, paints. You can actually see um, I did begin with a bit of colour on the paper. I did that a couple of days ago when I did the first painting. I just covered the paper with just bits of colour here and there, a bit of green in the bottom, a bit of yellow ochre and then a tiny bit of blue for the sky. 
So when I went in and did the sketch, I just went over that and just I'm doing my painting on top of the already coloured paper. So it's quite quite a nice uh, thing to do. So just adding just a few darks now, you can see I've added a little bit of blue, French ultramarine blue to my green and yellow mix. So I'm just dropping that in while the paint's still wet into the green and yellow, just to give me that darker sort of tones in the trees. So just going in, doing some windowsills and sort of details on the building itself. And just seeing where I need to strengthen up, where I need to darken the tones. And just going in, you can see, just dipping into my paints. I think I'm probably only using about four sort of colours in this. Yellow ochre, raw sienna, green... Um, lemon yellow and I do actually dip into my pen's grey and just add in a little bit of a shadow so for this scene I'd, I'd see I'd say the sun or the light source is coming from the left hand side so it's just giving a nice little shadow to the side side of the um, sort of extended bit coming out so I just wanted to get that shadow on the left hand side of the main face in building. So just adding a bit of warmth to the roof, just a bit of a, I think that might be a burnt sienna, possibly. I'm not really sure what colours they are. I know that I do need to fill up my palette, um, some more blue in there and some more sap green. I'm running quite low on those, but I'll be um, popping some more colour in there as well at some point. So just add in some darker tone and a bit of a reddy colour to the chimney. I think that looks quite nice. So it's it's quite similar to the scene that I've done on the right hand page. You can see. And just a little bit more colour into the a bit more darker tones into the sort of trees and foliage in front of the building. And I'm just again I'm just adding bits of ultramarine um, to the green mix and you, here you can see just doing a little bit of splatter just letting some of the pigment splatter along the paper you can see just gives that little bit of texture again I'm not after anything realistic or it's just a sketchbook so it doesn't really matter too much just want to keep things nice and loose and I think with this size it's it's perfect to do these loose little sort of exercises so if you do like this um, please give us a comment let me know what you think um, I do appreciate any comments I do answer all my comments that people uh, leave and any suggestions for any for videos in the uh, future just leave a comment and you can see I'm there's not really much left to do. It's just a, a nice little cottage sort of scene. Um, you'll see when I um, add the windows, I'm going to use a, a black black ink. And that'll bring a whole new dimension to the painting. It'll look quite nice. It'll give you some sort of focal point looking through the trees. So just about finishing, so I'll be using my pen now, just blotting out some some of the darker details, just text them out. I just wanted to add a little bit of red, so I'm popping in a few, a little bit of red, just to represent some flowers, some nice little flowers in the foreground. And it just makes it nice with the green, the nice uh, red to complement the green. And just pop a shadow on the um, chimney 
And now I'm just going in with the black liner pen. And again, this is um, waterproof ink. So if you're uh, using black, black ink pens, you just want to make sure that they're uh, waterproof so that you don't have any sort of problems with the wash. It doesn't interfere with anything like that. But I did let this dry for about 20 minutes. And then before I went in with pens, you can see the windows pop in as I've put them in. It just makes a nice little little scene. Maybe you could um, do something like this. It would look nice in a little frame. You could have this in your home. And it really is really is simple to do. So if you're not used to anything like this, just give it a go. Give it a go. You never know. You'll surprise yourself. It, it really is simple. And just popping in another window. Like so. So I hope you like this video. It is a bit different. You can see my palette and mixing colours. Um, things like that because I do think that's an important part of the painting process the painting stage just to see um, the palette and the colors that you mix and colors that I take out of the um, wells so that's all part of the um, painting so I just wanted to share that with you just to show you a bit more like that and if I can figure out my camera sort of get that right so it doesn't look like I'm using my left hand and I'll, I'll do another video like this and film it in the same sort of way, looking down. Let me know what you think, if it's something that you like. Um, seeing the, the palette on the actual, um, just in the, in the view. And that's it. Let's have a bit of a closer look. And you'll be able to see some of the details. And there we go. A couple of nice little cottage scenes, a couple of nice little houses, buildings. I hope you like this. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again in the next video real soon. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.